The Lagos State Government has revealed that the agriculture sector contributed around 7 trillion naira to the state's GDP in the last five years. Commissioner for Agriculture Abishola Olusonya shared this during a ministerial briefing in Alausa, Ikeja. He mentioned that the ministry's social interventions like the Eco Cares Initiative, which includes OJ Eco, discounted food sales, staple food distribution to vulnerable families and welfare programs for residents. We have done quite a number of partnerships and collaborations within the last one year. Uh, of note is the Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange collaboration with the Lagos State Government, um, particularly under the Lagos Rice Mill Imota. So the partnership is such that it gives Lagos the room to be able to do so much around the rice mill and for the private sector to also support. Uh, in Lagos State, we've um, given empowerment and we continue to improve the area as well as the number of production of rice in Lagos State. And we are equally buying back from them. Uh, like it is said, Ile Latike Shorode, if we start from home, we develop the home front, then we can move also out. And that moving out, our immediate out is Southwest States. Uh, we are, I mean, sending a hand of fellowship to all the Southwest states, Ekiti particularly, and all the other Southwest states. So that the aim and the objective, going by the roadmap we have, is that Lagos State will give us at least 20% of what we need, Southwest will give us 40 to 50% of what they need of the party, and the rest can come from the rest of the country. The government says it has been actively increasing food production activities with the state's food market size now at 9 billion naira daily and 5 trillion naira annually. Abishola mentioned plans to launch 50 meat vans at Ekoba Abator, emphasizing the government's dedication to transforming the state into an organized food system and value chain dest destination value chain holds a positioning for us in a way and manner that many may not understand. Um, you may wonder, we don't do um, cattle production, but the truth of the matter is we are still the largest beef consuming state in the West African belt. I don't mean in Nigeria alone, but in the West African belt. You have cattle coming in to Nigeria from Mali, from Burkina, from Niger, even from Cameroon. So it tells you that Nigeria indeed is a meat consumer, but regardless, majority of this is coming to Lagos. So you may have meat coming from cattle from Burkina, but most of it is coming down to Lagos because, I mean, we are the O1 best state. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.